Hi, I'm Graham from Dent Detail PDR and today we're going to look at the new Kiko Level 2 e GPR Glue Pulley System. It's uh, just been released and there's plenty of upgrades on here so we're going to go through a short video and show everything that's on here. Um, we've got new tooling, some of the new equipment on there, new layout tabs and I've got a job here to the right of me and I'm going to show you where to do the new bed sheets for it. So uh, let's take a look. So the first thing you'll notice is the car itself is actually a lot taller. They've put an extra backing plate on there so all the tools can fit nicely on there. It's nice and organised and nice and neat. There's uh, extra tools as well so the extra space was needed. The tabs themselves, the foam has been redesigned and certain tabs have been taken away. Less used ones and more used ones have been put on there. Mainly just to feedback from the techs that were using the older system. The have added on this on the side, which is very useful, something I'm uh, gonna make the most out of. It basically keeps your guns in place, your alcohol, heat gun, and thermometer over there. Very nice and useful if you're based up in a shop, keeps everything organized. Two lasers, normal. Box of uh, tabs at the bottom where you keep them all stored in. Some of the other equipment. A few of the tabs which we'll go over shortly. The E in the level 2 E system is for efficiency. So going with that, what they've done, they started with the bigger stuff on this side, working your way across, medium sized damage and then finishing off with the smaller stuff at the end. The tab tracks have been updated, so these here, they will slide over your tabs, like so and then you're using any of the pulling equipment to pull the dent up and out. The reason why they put the bigger one is you were using sort of more tabs in one go. With that, you can pull them all up in one go. So effectively, you could be placing these two if they were the same size. Cross each other like that. Use the longer tab track. So that'll slide over there as such. And then you're using your puller if there's a different adapter on there pulling it all up in one go. So starting off with some of these tabs, a couple of these were in the older set, you'll notice some of the bigger ones, they've been taken away, they just simply weren't getting used, so you chop them down and introduce more of the centipedes. You can see there, pretty much like the old ones. They have filled the tracks in at the bottom, you'll notice that hole there. So if you're doing like a, a lateral pull from the side, you can use some of your hooks which you've got here so that can hook through that hole and then you can pull the retention from the side. Let's take a look at some of them. Different size, different widths, depending on what type of damage you are actually pulling. Vipers, these may modulate, so these are great if you have got some really weird shape damage because they turn, you can uh, Unless you follow the shape of the, the crease or the dent, whichever way it is, they will bend and the edges will flex as well. So if you're doing something that is on an edge, they will fall more than follow it, which is better for adhesion. Different whips there. You see a nice and small one. They really change shape, very useful. Next we'll look at the curved tabs. These flex, so they'll follow the shape of the panel. So the job I was talking about, we've got this Porsche that's damaged here. Bit of a nasty hit on the quarter panel door. This is going to a body shop because the paint is broken, which is perfect for the GPR system. So we can quickly rough out all this damage, save the filler, save welding, save pin pulling, save a lot of product, and ultimately speed up repair. So these curved tabs, perfectly designed for damage like this. So as you can see, you can work your way along. You can even put two on there if you want to do one go, use the bigger tab tracks, quickly bring out all that damage. Along with those, you've also got a curved puller. So that will sit over there, and then we're using one of the beams, and it will pull it all up and out in one go. Super tabs, these are my favorites. These are great for aluminium. So it's the thickness of that neck there, rather than the full circumference of that bottom of that tab, that neck is the thing that does the pulling. So if you're lining up a dent, you want it the thickness of that neck. Uh, 
they're really good, one of my favourites. Then you move down to some of these tabs. In the old set, they were flexible. These are solid now, which they'll last longer. And again, off feedback, they're a much more used tab. They all come down in the shape and size. Nicely organised, so you know where you are with them. It's easy to off foot which ones you need for the dent. And that does the same for the ice tabs. The ice tabs are more rigid. They'll pull out all your details. Once you're working your way down your dent from bigger to smaller, you just follow your way down the size of the dents. Here we've got here crease tabs. These are great for a crease killer. If you've got a crease that's running down the side of your door, anywhere, line these up with a dent, crease killer or K beam, and you'll pull it right out. Right, some of the tools. We've got the black swan knocked down. That's great for beginners. If you uh, not done any knocking down before, this really helps. So the foot of the black swan stays on the base of the panel. So you're pushing down with your hand, keep it nice and steady, doing your knocking down on the top there. It's not bouncing around. Really useful little tool. There's the two different types of hammers. The blue one's the lighter one and the black one. You've got the puck on the end. You'll do that for your knocking down as well. You can change the ends out. So this turns if you're working around pulling something. So if you've got your K-beam set up and you need to move the edge of the handle, uh, the hammer tip, sorry, um, you can alter that so you're not knocking anything around. The, like I say, the ends on the here can be changed out. So you've got your different knockdowns here if you did need to do that. These will also go on the black swan there. So different thicknesses of ends, depending on what type of crown you're knocking down. With that, you've now got a knockdown itself. So if you did want to use that, you can just take out the ends, either of them, depending on how big it was doing, and swap them out with these. You've got the slappers here, different types. One's flexible, one's solid. So let's have a look. That one can shape. That one's a lot more flexible. So if you're knocking down something that's on a curved, a bit of a panel here, you can use the red one to shape it and bend it. It will stay in place if you're doing it two-handed and it'll can follow where the, the crowns are going. Next, one of the main things that has been added on, which was, uh, they got a lot of feedback from, was this, the C-hook. Now, the C-hook's great for uh, sort of edges of panels. If you've opened a door and it's whacked against the wall and it puts that kink in the edge, this will actually squeeze it back into place. Now, it was, it was on the old system, but it wasn't already attached to a robot, so now they've come in there, put it straight on the robot. Um, I'll give you a quick demonstration of where this will go. So this tip here, that will go behind the back of the panel. When we're pulling the trigger, it will bring it all up into place and the feet will keep the outside of the panel in place. Uh, I say it's great for door edges. Back to panels like this. Simply so will be on the back side, hold it in place. And when you're squeezing, it will bring it all up. Great for backs of doors as well. You can use it in there, really powerful. Okay, bar. Great for uh, really tough areas like dog legs, anywhere structural, you can get some real power behind that. Um, that's a great tool. We move on to the K-Beam Junior. Now, this, one of, again, another one of my favorites, I use this an awful lot. What they've done with this, as well as the K-Beam, they've added extra height on it. So, if you wanted to, you can swap out the extra height and put it onto this, both interchangeable. That's really good for areas where it's got curved panels. What you found out in the last one, when it just had the smaller feet, there wasn't much play with this. So you can swap out with the extended feet and there's also a taller thread. So you can swap your threads out. Here's some of the older ones. Um, you can swap the threads out, so it just gives you more room, more room to play, more room to work around um, crowns and the damage you're pulling. An extra robot has been added so we can now make the crease killer, which is this one. So what you can do is take one of your old robots, it's on here, or this one, slide it into the two feet and then you've got a dual action, both pulling. 
two hands at the same time, you can get some real deep damage out with that. Finally here, you've got the two slide hammers, you've got the light one above it and then the uh, heavy one at the bottom. There is two different weights, so there's a white weight down there, wherever you need it, heavier or lighter, you can just swap them out. This is really good for small little fine dents, which is uh, useful for when you're starting working your way down to these smaller tabs here. Perfect bit complements it well and uh, save them from breaking. So all in all, I think the uh, Level 2E is a really good uh, upgrade on the older system, which was great. It's just been massively improved now. Um, like the E is in there for, it's all about efficiency. It's all easily set out for you. Moving down for the bigger stuff, medium size, down to your smaller stuff. Um, it's great for body shops. This job here, which will be going to a body shop for paint work, everything on there I need to tackle that dent with is on that system. Um, it's big damage, right on the arch, both arches. So I'll be using the cabine to pull the most of that out. I'll be using the seat hook to straighten that edge out and then working my way down to some of the finer dents um, with using some of the finer tabs. So uh, I'll take a few um, shots of the repair and show you which tools we use on it. So um, thanks for watching.